Hi everybody, it's just me LTM. Welcome to this video, lovely to see you again. For those that are new to the channel, hi, thanks for joining us. I hope you find some interesting content here. Today I have another unboxing for you. I know my last video was an unboxing as well and I don't usually receive deliveries so close to one another but that's just how it happened. So here's another unboxing for you. Today's unboxing is kind of a risky purchase as well. My last video was a risky online purchase. What's risky about this purchase? Well, what's risky about this purchase is it's a company that's only just recently launched, at least recently launched here in Australia, called Temu, T-E-M-U. My order is a lot of different bibs and bobs, all to do with sewing and craft kind of stuff. So if that's of interest to you, then keep watching and see what I purchased. Uh, and it's just good to know that I did actually receive my items. I received them in a reasonable amount of time. So if you're a bit cautious about purchasing from Temu, then I can say that you actually will receive your package. Whether it's what I ordered or not is another thing. But as I said, there's lots of different bibs and bobs. So let's get into it and open this package up. Okay, so lots of goodies in there, as you can see. So let's find out what's in here. Do I remember everything I ordered? No, definitely not. So it'd be a bit of a surprise for me too. Let's see what we have in here. What can we get out first? These are swatches of material, 25 by 20 centimeters long. I thought they would be perfect for some sashiko and boro, B-O-R-O -O work. That's Japanese stitching style and Japanese patchwork style. They're, the packs come in different shades, so naturally I chose the purple shade. I'm really loving this with the cranes on it. That's beautiful. Uh, and this one's got flowers and there'll be, I can't remember how many pieces are in here, but a few. So I'm really happy with that. Have a little tiny envelope here. So let's open this one up and see what's in here. This is a felting needle. I've, I've thought a few times recently about doing some felting. So uh, yeah, and the last time I went to Spotlight, they didn't actually have this, this type of felting needle. Um, so I wanted this particular one that has multiple needles. They only had the ones that had a single needle. So, I mean, these needles feel a bit rough, actually. Let me have a close look. Mm, the needles look a bit rusty. Uh, whether that's an issue for felting, I'm not too sure, because I've never done felting before, so I'm really excited to have that have this little tiny bag. I remember what this is. This is a necklace. So I did say it was all crafty stuff. This is not really quite crafty stuff, but never mind. What I really liked about this is it's like a little globe of the sky with clouds in it. I don't know how well that's turning out. I had other ones that you could have a bird or two birds in it, but I like the one that was just clouds. Particularly as we're coming into winter here in Perth, Western Australia. The sky is going to be very grey from here on, so it'll be nice to have this reminder of the summer sky with me. Aha! These are for sewing. These are heat removable pens. So I did get a lot of white ones. comes in a pack like this. So I got white and I also purchased the multicolor pack because you know if you're using white fabric a white pen is not going to be very helpful so I did get the multicolor set as well really excited about having those because I have a sewing project that I want to get started on another pendant I really like the idea of this one too this is a a nebula or a supernova on a pendant it's a bit tricky how they've done it. It's just actually glass. You can see on the bottom, you can see on the bottom half there it's plain glass and they've just got a picture in the middle. 
that's fine it works oh another non-craft thing <laughs> this is a jar opener my mum I, should, I think I ordered two of these I did order two of these my mum is getting elderly and she has been telling me for quite a while now that she's losing the weakness in her hands and so opening jars and bottles and things can be quite a challenge for her so when I saw these I thought of her straight away so I got one for me and one for my mum some other small things this is for my sewing machine this is a magnetic guide that you can attach to your sewing machine it will help you do more even edges my sewing machine does have markings on the side but this will give me the ability to do even wider markings and also it's raised up so it'll be more useful than the lines that are just marked on the sewing machine. This is very simply a needle holder. I liked it because it was made of wood and came with a pack of needles. I find needles just disappear so this is a great idea. Now this is a very interesting purchase. This is supposedly a security camera contained within a, a light globe. So you simply screw it into a light socket and it's a security camera. I will let you know in the future how that goes. I need to get the light fitting at my front door fixed because it got inundated with water and it needs replacing so I need to get an electrician in to help me with that. I'll make sure that they either put in uh, the bayonet type that doesn't take a bayonet that takes a screw type globe and I'm wondering too whether there's adapters for that to change from a screw type to a bayonet type it would seem like a really useful thing but I don't know whether they exist so it's a wireless network security camera connects to your um, smartphone so I'm looking forward to using that this is a set of shawl pins that I purchased they sell them on on the website specifically to be used to make brooches to hang charms and things off and to wear as a brooch um, but I have bought them primarily as shawl pins okay one last thing this is a felting kit it's to go with the multi-needle felting needle that I purchased uh, but this is a whole kit so it has all kinds of uh, small little pieces of wool that you can use to do felting with it's got the board that you put your work on and you punch the needles into that uh, from memory it did also have yes yeah, so it has some needles and other bits and pieces that you use I don't know anything about felting so this is all a bit of a discovery for me I don't really know what all of these things are but I assume that they are things that you need when you're doing felting and as you can see there is quite a lot of little bits of wool here which you can use to make all kinds of things now one of the reasons why I'm interested in felting is for the projects that I make on my circular knitting machines a lot of people make little animals and also do embroidery onto beanies and hats that they make um, and I'm not terribly convinced about either of those ways of doing things so a lot of people use um, Cricut machines to cut out felt items to put on there for eyes and things like that. Uh, but a lady recently put up a post about that she does felting onto it and it seemed like a much better idea. You know, with things that are hot glued on, there's always a concern that maybe it's going to come off. And the duplicate stitch or the embroidery that I see just kind of has doesn't look as good in my mind. So I thought I would have a go at some felting. So there you go. Here is my haul from Temu, T-E-M-U. And I'm really happy that this arrived and that I know it's not one of those scam sites like my daughter once told me AliExpress was. So if you've been hesitating about buying from Temu because it's an unknown quantity, I can vouch for the fact that 
I, I received all of the items that I ordered and it arrived in a reasonable time. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really strongly encourage you to hit the like button. That'll tell the YouTube algorithm that you want to see more content like this, not necessarily from me, but from anybody. And you will get more of this in your feed, your recommendations or suggestions from YouTube. If you'd like, I would also love it if you would subscribe. So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified when I issue another video. That's all from me for today. I hope you're having a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. See you.